Chief, let me, let me follow up on a, qu a conversation that we had uh, about timber in the Tongas last month when you testified before the Energy Committee, um, talking about the 10-year history of timber volume offered and sold and how that relates to the volume targets set for each year. Can you explain, as you, as you review this history every year, the volume offered, um, and outside of, of, of 2017, how much of that volume is a re-offer of, of sales from prior years that didn't sell. Do you have that information? You know, Senator, I don't have that specific I information. Um, I, I don't want to. I don't want to guess. Well, if if you if you can help me with that in understanding that, and what what I'm looking for is is to to try to understand what would be a re what would have been a reoffer from prior years, but then going forward. If, if those were reoffers, why would the Forest Service expect that these reoffered sales um, are going to be of interest to the industry now? So, yeah, no, I, I understand. I, I'm, your, I'm trying your, to understand yeah. where we are with the volumes. So, so let I me speak in generalities, okay. but we'll get. I, I want to make sure we confirm specifics. Okay. We don't just offer and then hope for a, a different result a few months later and offer again. We'll look at. At what what was the uh, factors of, of why why, timber, why it wasn't interesting what, in the first and, place? And there are times it might be market forces, but there's many other times where uh, at least a, a part of why uh, uh, it didn't get it didn't get a purchaser didn't get a, a bid would be because you know we required too much or it's how we designed the sale or you know, you know too much road work or whatever it might be. So we'll take a critical review. We have folks that come in and do a review to say what what is it that this needs to have a viability to to be be a, a, a viable sale in the future. So we'll retool them is usually what we call them based on the factors we know of why they didn't they didn't get a bit. Do you do you take feedback or, or input from the from the industry? Oh, absolutely. Why it was oh, absolutely. It was of no interest in the first. Yes. Place. Okay. So, I, I just want to make sure that I have an accurate understanding your description of of what's happening on the ground in the Tongas right now. The timber sale pro, uh, program within the Tongas includes both old growth and young growth. And since the the sixteen plan was adopted. Forest Service has not even come close to meeting the annual volume target. The volume offered is approximately 66% of the target, but the key figure, which is the volume sold, is only 31% of the target. And, and this statistic just continues to go downhill. If you look at just the old growth volume sold, that's only 22% of the target. <clears throat> so. My, my assessment is, is that the Forest Service continues to struggle with its effort to identify, to design, and, and to sell economic timber sales within the Tongas. And what, what does appear clear is that the new forest plan, um, the conservation overlays between the, the Tongas 77 and the Nature uh, Conservancy conservation priority areas in these plans and the loss then of, of those areas with the roadless exemption, these have all come together to contribute to a shrinking land base that, that makes it difficult to actually practice active forest management. I think this, this last planning round has pushed the Forest Service over the edge, and and even in the in the best of circumstances, implementation is failing to produce sufficient timber uh, in terms of a volume to sustain the industry and the communities. So, am I giving an accurate description of where we are in the Tongas today, with with these overlays and 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 what that actually takes off the table in terms of of Anything that could be considered an economic uh, sale? Um, I would I would frame it slightly different in 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 the short term and in the longer term. Okay. In the short term, uh, I mean, you're absolutely right about the challenges. And we're <laughs> in in the short term, we have we have lands to operate on. Um, and as you know, but that's, we would agree that that's both a very short term. Well. 
I'm talking about the next 15 to 25 years. The, we, we've taken on efforts for two large landscape assessments so we can have the, the clearance and be ready to provide uh, volume, both old growth and the, the second growth in the years to come. Uh, the Prince of Wales uh, landscape uh, 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 assessment was, you know, a really diverse collaborative came together to look at the multiple values, in, including old growth timber and and the second growth. Uh, that we and and uh, I just spoke with our regional forester here in the last week, and they've made the shifts, and they have forty. Uh, million board feet, and it being old growth, uh, predominantly old growth, to to put up for sale. And they've sh they about uh, about twenty percent of that was helicopter logging. They've reshifted and they've we, retooled right, because, because of, we no longer have, have a helicopter logging. contract. Mm -hmm. So we're and you know so now it's to design a sale that can be sold. We are working in earnest on on make on and, and it is a challenge. And I'd be glad to to work with you more, even come up to Alaska, that we can roll up our sleeves and really look at this. Now, for the longer term, we know that there are uh, changes that need to be made to the new plan. Some common sense changes: the TU seventy seven streams and the karst soils and. Now that we have the, the Tongass roadless uh, uh, underway and the, the Prince of Wales and Central Tongass large landscape, we're working on those amendments so that we can, um, what we have total agreement on, so we have, can have more access to, to lands in the long, longer term. And, that, that, and those plan amendments should be done in the next six to nine months. Well, we do have a great deal to work on. And... Uh, we're we're trying to have conversation. Actually, we've had we've had a couple good sit downs with the secretary to try to uh, again reinforce with him why a, a, a total exemption to the roadless is is what makes sense in in the Tongas, um, <clears throat> and uh, and and really to convey that with every overlay, whether it is. It's, it's the implications of the roadless, whether it's the, the, the Tongass 77, whether it's the, the conservation priority areas. With each, with each one of these, you, you, you take off the table um, uh, an opportunity for, for, for a level of access and volume uh, that then puts you below these targets that we have set, and they might look good on paper, but our ability to actually uh, see them translate, um, it's, it's almost imaginary. And imaginary doesn't help the economy. Imaginary doesn't, uh, doesn't keep these small operators uh, uh, around. Um, you know, the reality is, is this, the, the, the industry has changed so much, it's hard for me to even describe it as an industry anymore. Uh, when we lost the, the last helicopter operator, who, who basically picked up their assets and moved out of state, said, we can't, we as a small uh, operator here can't, can't make it work in our nation's largest uh, national forest. So uh, I welcome you up to the state any time, summer, winter, spring, fall. Um, uh, but I do appreciate your, your effort and your willingness, with, along with your knowledge of what goes on in the forest, to try to work with us. We're trying to balance Good. some things. You mentioned the, the Prince of Wales, the Palot sale. Uh, that collaborative was, was embraced by a lot of people, and uh, uh, I thought it was a good outcome. Um, and now, of course, that, that too is being challenged. Yep. So there is uh, no good deed goes unpunished, I guess. Um, we're just trying to stay alive I down there in the Tongas. I'm under. I understand, and I'm really, really committed to keep digging deeper and working on this. Okay, thank you.